Is it okay for kids to do intermittent fasting? This is a very common question, and there are a number of factors that may lead to parents and even teenagers wanting to try intermittent fasting. Today, overweight and obese kids are steadily on the rise, unfortunately. And in fact, the CDC reported in April of 2024 these alarming numbers and how the prevalence of obesity increases with age. From 2017 to March 2020, obesity prevalence was 12.7% among U.S. children aged 2 to 5 years old, 20.7% among those 6 to 11 years old, and 22.2% among adolescents 12 to 19. That's almost a quarter of our children. One in six kids today is considered overweight. But is intermittent fasting the answer? Now, if you don't have my guide, grab it now over at if.lowertoxiclife.com. It's going to give you a lot of guidance on intermittent fasting. And also follow my playlist here to get more answers. So in most cases, anyone under the age of 18 should not be doing intermittent fasting. I'm going to repeat that. In most cases, anyone under the age of 18 should not be doing intermittent fasting. And the reason is because good nutrition and proper growth is critical during this phase of life. And if done incorrectly, restricting calories also restricts the essential nutrients. Now, intermittent fasting isn't known for restricting calories, but sometimes in kids that can happen. These Essential nutrients are so necessary for proper growth and the development of vital organs, especially the brain. Normal growth spurts during puberty in particular require tremendous amounts of nutrients. If you have a teenager, you know exactly what I'm talking about because it seems like they want to eat all the time. And we look at them and wonder, where the heck are you putting that? Underfeeding kids during this period may result in stunted growth, which could be irreversible. Now, that's not to say that missing a meal here and missing a meal there is harmful or that following the protocol of 12 hours between the last meal of the day and the first meal of the next day is a bad thing, okay? This can help them. But prolonged fasting over 24 hours is not advisable. Kids can benefit from giving the digestive system time to rest and for cellular repair and growth. That's that pause between meals, and that's what that will create is that space for that type of healing. Our bodies naturally have an internal process of cellular cleanup and renewal called autophagy. Think of it like a dishwasher, cleaning off and cleaning up the parts of your body. We put the dishes in, we close it, we lock it up tight, we turn it on, and your it washes everything, moves it away, takes it out of the dishwasher, and everything is clean and sparkling and good to go. Flushes everything bad down the drain. And that's essentially what your body does as well. Your body finds and cleans out aging, damaged, and dysfunctional cells. In most all cultures around the world, children have always been excluded from cultural or religious fasting. And this is to prevent that unintentional development of malnutrition in the critical time of their development. So instead, use these early years as a time to teach children about making good food choices to fuel their bodies for strength and wellness and their brains as well. Research has shown that the average American child gets up to 60% of their calories from ultra processed foods. And if you followed my channel, hopefully you've watched my video on the dangers of ultra processed foods. These ultra processed foods are so common for really messing up our systems in so many ways and overeating and snacking on these foods throughout the day over long periods of time, never truly give the body time to slow down, digest and use the calories that are being ingested for fuel instead of being on overload and having to store them and create new fat cells. A diet instead that's filled with healthy proteins, healthy fats, and quality carbohydrates, along with reducing sugar, would go a long way toward 
preventing obesity, and promoting good health. So ideally, skip the ultra-processed foods as much as possible and avoid eating fast food, which is most often ultra-processed as much as possible. Use this type of eating as an occasional treat just now and then. Instead, get your kids involved in meal planning, meal preparation, eating together as a family as much as possible, and then talking about the food that's been prepared, what's in it, and use that as an opportunity to educate them on the importance of loving and supporting the body that they've been given so that it will support them to a long, healthy life. Now, if you have more questions on intermittent fasting in general, my playlist here is going to give you a whole lot more answers. And if you have anything specific, drop it in the comments below and I'll get that answered for you. Grab my intermittent fasting guide at if.lowertoxiclife.com. I'm Jackie Almer. Here's the playlist.